Neisseria gonorrhoeae Jorge is the bacterium and causative agent of the STD gonorrhea. This microbe is a gram-negative diplococcus, meaning that these usually appear in pairs, and they're also the shape of coffee beans. They are motile. They move basically by a form of twitching. They also possess type 4 pili that allows them to adhere to different surfaces. They can't survive for long periods of time outside of a host, and unfortunately humans are the only known natural host at this time. These microbes have surface proteins called OPA proteins, which bind to the receptors of immune cells, and by doing this, these microbes are able to prevent an immune response and also the host is unable to develop an immunological memory against it which basically means that future reinfections are possible. Gonorrhea is transmitted sexually through vaginal, anal, and oral sexual activity. Typical incubation time is two to seven days but individuals can be infected and still remain asymptomatic. About 10% of males and 80% of females don't show symptoms of being infected by gonorrhea. Symptoms of infection can differ depending on the site of infection. For males, infection in the genitals can result in pus-like drainage from the genitals, which can also be foul smelling. Also, there can be painful burning during urination and swelling of the testicles. Gonorrhea can also cause conjunctivitis, pharyngitis, urethritis, and parostitis as well. In women, gonorrhea can cause vaginal discharge, burning during urination, painful intercourse, and bleeding between periods as well. Gonorrhea in females can result in PID, which is the pelvic inflammatory disease if it's left untreated, which can result in infertility, which is like the inflammation and scarring of the fallopian tubes. Newborns can also be exposed to gonorrhea in the birth canal, which can lead to corneal scarring and perforation, which is why silver nitrate or antibiotics are often applied to their eyes as a preventative measure against gonorrhea. Standard treatment for gonorrhea is third generation cephalosporins but also ciprofloxin and levofloxin is used as well. There are now strains of gonorrhea that are antibiotic resistant. Some of them are resistant to the penicillin family. So when they're resistant, then cephalosporins are used.